Good morning, happy hump day. Happy hump day to your baby. Yes, happy hump day, y'all. Whew, yes, another day, another day. God has given us another day, y'all. Look here, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking the time out to watch my video till the end. Thank you so much. I never take for granted for that. Like, share, comment, and go ahead and help your girl out if you feel like it. If you feel impelled to support me and hit that subscribe button, um, I would appreciate it. It, it. You know, I appreciate the love and the support. Absolutely. Comment. I do uh, like interacting. I will, um, uh, uh, you know, interact with you. <coughs> Excuse me. I will. That's some cigarettes. I will interact with you, you guys. Um, so, whew, this morning I just got me a coffee from um, Starbucks. Um, this is a regular old uh, iced coffee. And I got some fruit. It is just too hot out here to even eat. I can't even think about no food. It is just absolutely hot. Um, look, so this morning I wanted to talk about loyalty. Okay, and um, what prompted me to want to talk about loyalty is I seen something yesterday that kind of really bothered me, and it, it made me think about me and about you know my situations and about people in general, how people are, and um, see me, I'm a loyal person. And when I, when I care about you, whether it's a family member or a friend, I want to gear towards friends, okay? I'm not even going to put family in it at this point. But friends, see, it ta I don't use that word loosely, okay? But if I think I have a friend and I care about that person and I start opening up and, and being friends... I'm, I'm, I'm loyal to the end. I'm, that's just me. I'm just, and I think I'm that way because growing up, I didn't, I have some family members, you know, them, you know, that that's not close. That's not like siblings. You would think siblings would just have your back no matter what. I'm talking about me now. Um, there's no loyalty, you know, and so I vow to. I don't like that feeling of no loyalty. I never liked that. So my personal motto was to be loyal. Because I don't like that feeling of betrayal. Okay? And I don't use the word friend loosely. If I, be, if I let you into me, I say me. Because when I become a friend, when I have a friend, I open up, I share, you know, personal issues we we're, we're friends I said that to say this I seen something yesterday that opened up my eyes to a lot of different situations that I've been through in my life and it kind of made me understand that I'm not crazy um I, you know, let me tell you this story first. I remember a while back, I was having some issues with this one particular person at my job. Not at this particular location, I'm at, at another location. I will never forget this. And um, it was a small office, okay, this is before I got to this um, doing what I'm doing now before I, I'm, I'm doing social work now. This is before the social work. And I have to give you the whole, you know, scenario. But anyway, long story short, I, I, I was, I got to the point where I was tired of some, of, of this one particular person. And I, I just, I went off. I just blurted out some things and said some things that I shouldn't have said 
And I said them out of anger. I said them out of the emotional state that I was in. So me and this person fell out. I said some things that wasn't right. Me, I did apologize to her for the things I said. Um, and the way I said it. And, and, you know, because delivery is everything. My mother always told me, Tracy, it ain't what you say. It's how you say it. Okay, it's your delivery. So, anyway, back to the situation. Me and her fell out big time, okay? And it seemed like people that I was cool with in the office that I never had beef with. We never argued. We never, we just, we was cool. Started jumping on the bandwagon. And I was like, wow, I was ostracized. Nobody in the office was interacting with me. I mean, I was ostracized. That is the most worst feeling in the world. I know I did wrong with this one particular individual. But the other people, it bothered me because... I've never had no beef with them. We've never had an argument. We've always spoken with each other, be laughing and talking. We, I thought we had a good working relationship because we never had no beef. And they never showed me that they didn't care, you know, that they didn't like me or anything. But when me and this one particular person fell out, everybody just started talking about me, my hair, my shoes, my car, I mean, just this, that. I mean, they just started just going in on me and, you know, teasing me and talking about me. I'm like, but I thought me and you was cool. So you jumping on somebody else's bandwagon. So basically, you never liked me. You've been fake and phony all this time. You've been laughing in my face, interacting with me. You've been doing what you need to do because we're at work. So you interacted with me because this was a, a professional environment. But really, you never liked me. Because with me and this one girl, we was real cool even outside of work. I mean, we have become friends. Okay? Um, you jump on their bandwagon. So now because she ain't talking to me, you not talking to me, you not talking to me, and you not talking to me. Okay. Sometimes when people do stuff and they fall out, everybody want to jump on the bandwagon and start talking about the person, start bringing up different stuff, throwing fuel into the fire. I seen that last night. I've been seeing it this past couple, you know, this past week. When all that stuff was going on with Q and B. And um, last night was like, wow. Because this one particular person was really friends. They were cool. They were really friends before, uh, before, you know, YouTube. Okay. I'm not mentioning no names, but yeah, it was something I seen on YouTube, okay? And this person started talking about this other person, I mean, telling, you know, their conversations that they had, how they, you know, fell out, which has nothing to do with what is going on right now. They jumped on the bandwagon. And this person said, well, we're not even really cool no more because, you know, that person got mad for something. But the thing is, what the person got mad about is minute. It's very minute. And when a person can fall out with you and not like you, not want to deal with you over something that is trivial, it's deeper than that. They use the trivial situation to avoid the real situation, the real issue, okay? Oh, I hope this lady don't 
good. She walked by, okay. And um, sometimes people will use that trivial situation to avoid the real situation. And see, this is why I always say nobody you work with is your friend. I learned that the hard way. Now I'm learning that and I'm seeing that when you have a when you think you got a friend and you you guys are talking and you're sharing things, personal things. And then as soon as you stop being friends, they use all of your inf all of your stuff that you told them about your life against you when they get mad. That's why I'm very leery now um, who I talk to, who I open up to, because people are people. They're human. And if you ain't, if you didn't know that person from childhood, like I got a couple of childhood friends. We have been friends since childhood. I'm talking elementary. And I don't even talk to them every day. I might talk to them once, twice a year. But when we talk, it's like we never stopped. Those are the people that are my true friends. Okay? Because I did. God did put somebody in my path that I thought was like my girl, my friend. I was opening up to her. I was, I mean, I thought that was my friend. And then she showed me different because she can't even love me enough, love the relationship enough to apologize for something she did. I'm not trying to bring that up, but I'm just saying what I seen yesterday bothered the hell out of me. Because, oh, I just go on and say it. Everybody else talking about it. What Q did. Okay, I'm talking about Q. Okay, I'm, fuck it. Everybody else is talking about it. But I'm not trying to gain no views or no clout. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to gain that. So I'm not putting this in the title. I always put YouTube drama in my title because I'm not trying to capitalize off of this situation. This is a hurtful situation. Okay. Um, it's hurtful. And I'm not trying to capitalize off of it. I'm not. But what Q did was wrong. Let me tell you. And I've been, I've been watching her. Every time she gets excited, she makes a video. Let me tell. And I wish I had some skills to show you different clips. But let me tell you, there was one time she had, not too long ago, she did a video. You know, she does Miss Hazel. And this was the video before the last one she did with her boyfriend. She did a video, the last one, she was Miss Hazel, but she did it with Scott. This is the one before that. She did an awesome job. And I left her a nice comment. I mean, people were leaving her nice comments. Nice comments. And it kind of pumped her up. Whenever she gets pumped up and her mind gets to go in, she, she runs with it. The next video she did after that, she was talking about Tyler Perry, you know, I'm, you know, everybody share my video. Why can't I be with Tyler Perry? Why can't I meet Tyler Perry? I mean, she was pumped up. Every time she gets pumped up, she lets her emotions get, get to her, okay? When she did that video about B, she was pumped up because of the other collabs. And here's the thing. The other collab, they, they treated her, she felt like she was the star. Okay? She was the center of attraction. She wants to be center of attention. And she was the center of attraction and attention with them. When she got to bees, she wasn't. Everybody was busy. The husband was trying to set up to make sure everything is copacetic. The kids are doing what they're doing. They ain't tripping. Because this is mom's thing. I'm going to come down and see you. But you're really here for mom. But she wanted everybody to 
flock to her. Flock to her. Okay? And when it didn't happen, that's why and when she made that video, she was pumped up. But that's not the real reason. I'm going to go back to what bothered me yesterday. So, yeah, Q did what she did, and it's all over the place. Okay, I'm not even going to get no more deep into that. But what bothered me is this person was supposed to be a friend. They was friends. And whether you fall out or you're mad at each other right now, me personally, I just feel like the loyal, the loyalty should, should stay there no matter what. And you're going to get on social media and start talking about someone that's supposed to be your friend talk about private conversations that you had talk about your different differences that you two personally you two not YouTube that you two both of you guys had together Okay, you two had some issues and some things going on, and you bringing that up too. So now you jumping on the bandwagon. Where's the loyalty? That's my main thing is. Why can't people just, I don't understand. When you, be, when you have a friend, that's why I don't talk to nobody. That's why I keep my stuff to myself that's why I'm somewhat a loner okay because we friends today and you showing me all this today but if we get into an argument or a disagreement or something happens you gonna fold and let sing like a bird and tell all my business I don't get it. Bother me. Bothers me because people will befriend you. You would think you have somebody that's your friend. As soon as they get mad at you, they use all your information. Everything you didn't tell them, they use it against you. And just sing like a bird and tell everybody. It's like everybody's jumping on the bandwagon now and talking about every little thing she ever did instead of staying on what the subject is right now. That's what people do. It, you know what? As a matter of fact, that happened to me at this location at my job where I'm at now. Not the other one I was talking about, but this one. I actually had to put somebody in their place because I got tired of them you know, disrespecting me, okay? I got tired of them um, talking to me out the side of their neck, okay? And I, I had to approach somebody professionally, but I had to put somebody in their place, okay? Because I'm not going to sit up here and just keep letting you talk to me this way. So this was a, a little situation I had at this job. And that happened to me before. That, that happened to me here. Where everybody want to jump on a bandwagon because me and her fell out. So now you ain't talking to me. Childish. So because me and her mad. No, you, I ain't going to talk. That's childish. That's childish. It's because we mad. Now you don't want to talk. And I'm not taking those sides. I'm not saying that um, what Q did was not wrong. It was. She let her emotions get to her. And she got on here, she didn't think before she acted. She does that all the time. That one particular time with that video when people was pumping her up, telling her how good she was when she was doing being Miss Hazel. Then the next video she made, she, she was trying to contact Tyler Perry. I mean, that's just what she do. Every time she get pumped up, she get, she'd do a video and then she'd do subliminal messages. But it ain't just her that do that. It's, it is so many people on here that do them subliminal messages. You be thinking y'all cool. 
And you be thinking, y'all, that I, I, I had it just done to me recently. I just let it go. I, I don't trip. I'm going to still do the things I like to do. I'm going to still do my movie reviews. I'm going to still do my um, stuff that I do. I, it happened to me. I, that's why I'm very careful now of opening up to people, of telling them how I really feel about certain things. Now, if we're all discussing something a mutual, I'm still watch myself. Cause I got to the point now, I trust no one. I don't, I, I trust nobody. I trust nobody. Because folks will be laughing in your face. And it ain't just YouTube. The same people who's on YouTube is the same people walk around these streets. Except that they just on social media. That's how people do you. It's hard to find these days real 100 people. Just like back to Q. See, what happened was when she did the video and she was hee hee and ha ha, it wasn't in her heart. She was doing that for the camera and she was doing extra. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. All that was an act. Because in her heart, she wasn't feeling it because, um, you know, whatever happened, you know, with the, with the environment and, and they, wasn't, they didn't understand how she felt, you know, with the town. And, and it wasn't, she wasn't blaming her for the town. She was just kind of upset at the fact that she didn't, couldn't relate to it, you know. And then the kids, nobody flocked to her and all that. Her expectations was way too high because she built it up in her mind. We have to be careful with our mind. Our mind, our mind is powerful. Your mind is powerful. You, your mind can make you or break you. She built it up so much in her mind. Okay? And she let her imagination. She was thinking about this and how it's going to happen. And when she sees her. And she, she built it up this thing in her mind. She let her imagination just get bigger and bigger and bigger. All this was in her mind. So when she met her in person, reality set in. She had already built this up in her mind. B didn't do nothing wrong. She was being herself. I love her. That's a bad blot. I love her. I'm glad to see a, a sister come up. Oh yeah. That's a bad, okay, I love her. So did Q, but she built this up in her mind and then when it didn't happen, it just, and then she, and then she kept it inside. That's why I always say, don't keep a lot of stuff inside. I talked about that before. When you keep things inside, bottled in, it's like a pressure cooker. And all it takes is one little thing to happen for you to explode. And that's what happened to her. She wasn't, see, here's the thing. It takes courage and confidence to pick up the phone and call someone to express your feelings. It takes courage and confidence to do that. She could not pick up that phone and call B because she didn't have the confidence nor the courage. Just like the, my friend. It takes a lot of courage to do that. So now you see people hiding behind text messages, hiding behind, you know, people aren't real these days. Now that they got all this technology. See, when I was growing up, you had to pick up that phone or you go see that person in person. You fought with your fists. There wasn't no text messaging. It wasn't no emailing. It wasn't. You have to deal with that person. Either you're going to talk on the phone or you're going to talk in person. And now that, they, now that the way technology is, nobody has to be accountable for anything. 
They just sent a text message. They just sent an email. Or they just make a video. See, behind that camera in your own comfort of your home, you can make a video because ain't nobody there. Ain't nobody, you know. And then your cur, you just upload the video. Nobody's loyal no more. That's why I'm very careful of who I interact with. And I'm the type of person, I'm still be cool with you. I just know who you are and what you about. This, you know, subliminal messages all the time. People be doing that shit all the time. But see, I won't even say nothing because you know why? I guess a damn. Because I'm going to keep doing what I do. I'm going to keep being who I am. And I'm going to keep living my life for me. So you can, whoever out there making subliminal men, that's what they do. Get on Facebook, put up a subliminal message. Get on YouTube, do a subliminal video. Instead of just saying, girl, why you keep doing that? No, they just rather just do a subliminal video and then call you like ain't shit happen. That's what people do. People are fake. People are fake. They don't know how to keep it real. And that's what happened in that situation. She was hee heeing and ha ha and giving her all this credit and doing all the thing that she was doing at the collab that she did not mean in her heart. So with that being said, we have to be careful who we talk to. We have to be careful who we let in our space. We have to be careful who we let in. Hold on a minute. So back to what I was saying, we have to be careful who we let inside. We have to be careful who we let in our circle. We have to really be careful, you guys. And I'm not... I'm just I'm just keeping it real because it's just it's a lot of messiness going on. We have to be careful who we let in, who we trust. OK, trust yourself. OK, trust your if you you know, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to beat this horse. Any anymore. I didn't beat him to death. Um, kudos to to be, I'm praying for Q. Um, I wasn't gonna talk about it, but when I seen that last night, I was like, wow, that's supposed to be your home girl. Why are you just singing like a bird telling everything? Stuff that has nothing to do with this. And then gonna say, I'm glad everybody found out how she was. It's like, God, you never liked her then. I'm glad everybody found out where she was. Even. <laughs> Can't stand that fake shit. Can't stand it. I'm, it's just... I'm big on loyalty, you guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I just want... That's just my thoughts. That just irritated me yesterday when I seen that. It just opened up my eyes to a lot. It, it, to a lot of how people are. So anyway, we're not going to let that steal our joy today. I just want... Because I like to share stuff with you guys my thoughts the things I, you know different things because you know it might be somebody out there going through that you know with friends or you know at work or or something that's what i'm here for to share my life and just in case there's somebody out there going through the same thing to say you ain't alone you ain't alone you're not the lone ranger we got to get it together as people. Okay, we got to we got to get it together, y'all. Anyway, we're not gonna let that steal our joy today. We're gonna keep our head up, our chest out, our nose level. Why? Why walk around with your nose all stuck in the air? Or why walk around all frowned up? Because you feeling fucked up. Look, okay, because you feeling messed up. Sometimes I, it comes out, my little cuss words come out. Because you feeling the way you feeling, so now you just going to bring everybody else down around you. Crab in a barrel attitude. Crab in a barrel mentality. 
Crab in the barrel. Crab in the barrel. You gonna pull this person down cause you down. Crab in the barrel. Crab in the barrel. Crab in the barrel. Crab in the motherfucking barrel. I mean, folks get tired of that. So we're not going to be a crab in that barrel today. We're not going to be in that barrel today. We are not going to be that particular crab in that barrel. Not today. Okay, we ain't going to do that today. We're going to keep a smile on our face. Even if we don't feel like smiling, smile anyway. It'll make you feel better. We're not going to give away our joy. We're not going to let nobody take our joy. And... We're not going to take nobody else's joy. We're not going to do it. Not today. Not on Wednesday. No, we're not. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace.